Hi guys, this is Ovaris back with another tutorial of AutoCAD Essential Training. In this video, I will discuss auto tracking and polar tracking. So down here on the status bar, we got auto and we got polar. So I'm going to turn off the polar first and I'll talk about auto. Let's start at auto. So basically, auto is about it strict your line to the right angle, which is 90 degrees. So I start a line here and I give it some arbitrary starting point. I start from here. And now, as you can see, even if I move my cursor away from the line, it strikes the line to draw on a zero degree angle. If I close, get closer to 90 degrees, the auto will change that to the 90 degree. So you got four kind of angles here, basically. Zero, 90, 180, and 270. So let's say I don't have to give an angle. You can type a value. Let's say if I type a value of 100 and I press enter, the line will be drawn on zero degree angle with 100 units so if I want to draw a 90 degree I can push my cursor up and I draw 100 enter the line will be draw and let's say 100 100 so that's how you want to keep the right angle all the time let's say 0 90 180 and 270 so you can always use auto and this will keep your line straight so now let's have a look at the polar tracking I'm going to go and delete this and I start my polar. So to start a polar, you need to, it will automatically turn off auto. So the polar tracking is basically, it restricts the cursor to specified angle. So we've got a few different options here. I can restrict my cursor to 90, 180, 270, 360. Or I can use different kind of angles, 45, 90, 130. So let's try 90 to 360 first and I'll draw a line. And I start my line command and I give it some arbitrary point. So I can draw anywhere I want. It's not like ortho, which strict your line to this to the right angle. So you can draw here. But if I go closer to my zero degree angle, you can see the green dotted line, which is going to strict the angle to zero. So let's say I draw 100 and I press enter, the line will be drawn. So I can draw anywhere I want, but I would go closer to 90 degrees and I type the value 100 and this will draw a line on 90 degrees you can always override it by giving a values let's say I want to draw a line but I want to draw on 45 degrees so I can type 100 press tab and now you can give 45 degrees to your angle value and press enter the line will be drawn at 45 degrees so polar is basically very helpful when drawing 2d drawing um, and you can actually override this. So this is basically very useful. Now let's try a different kind of polar setting. I'll try 45, 90, and 135. So let's say I start my line command by pressing L and enter. And now I start my line back here. And now if I go closer to my zero degrees angle, it's giving me green dotted line. If I go closer to my 45 degree angle, it's giving me dotted green dotted line. It's giving me 90 degrees, 135, 180 so this is how basically you can keep your angle straight if you're because all the time pretty much all the time when you're drawing 2d you're gonna keep your line straight so let's try a different one let's say 1836 so now see that it's freaking 36 72 108 so I can even define my own angle I go back to 90 and I can click it this arrow button and say trapping tracking setting and I click on it I get this dialog box here which keeps me polar tracking and I can add additional angles so if I check this and I type 45 press enter and I can type 135 press enter I can type 265 let's say and I press ok and now I start my line command so now I can get the 45 as you can see that here we don't have 45 degree angle but it's still giving me 45 degree angle because I actually define my own angle so I can go more 265 as well if I go 265 let's say I move my cursor there you go that's your 265 degree angle basically which you defined so that's it for polar tracking guys I hope you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe for more tutorials on AutoCAD Essential Training.